tonight, or right now at 6, a late night fight over making Ybor City safer. After last weekend's shooting that killed two and injured 16, Fox 13's Gloria Gomez tonight reports on the suspect appearing today in court. But first, our own Evan Axelbank is at City Hall on the calls for a curfew and closing bars earlier. Given a young teen was shot and killed, city councilors are considering a plan to stop them from going to Ybor City late at night. And they're considering changes to traffic flow to stop people from standing around after the clubs close. Bar owners, bartenders, and bar customers came to city council to defend their late nights. All you're doing is hurting uh, the livelihood of you know business owners. I would just ask that uh, you look at the people that are actually going to be affected, the bar workers, uh, the servers, uh, security guards. Saying the majority of their income comes between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m., the exact hours TPD says are the least safe, they convinced Councilor Gwen Henderson to pull off the table her idea of ordering bars to close at 1 a.m. for six months. The community has spoken, and I greatly appreciate that. I don't feel beaten up, you know. Um, I don't feel threatened when I make a decision to bring something forward because there's always a teachable moment. But several counselors do seem to be considering ideas to order a curfew of those under 18, especially because a teen was killed in Sunday morning shooting. And they're considering a plan to keep 7th Avenue open as close to the 3 a.m. closing time as possible in order to give groups less time to gather. That's a million dollar question, to close the road or not to close the road. And, and, I'll, and I've been doing this for quite some time. And I'll tell you right now, up front, I'm a huge proponent of that road being staying open as late as possible. Councilors took no official steps today beyond asking TPD to spend three months studying safety in Ybor City. What are the exact causes of the problems and what changes could feasibly be made? They heard you all push back on, no, we don't need to shut down at 1 a.m. I heard you say that, and I can support that. But there are some things that need to change. The chief did field questions from city councilors about the incident, but said most of the information was related to the investigation, so it could not be shared. He did say they're looking for at least two more shooters. The report from TPD is due in January. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.